What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to We Sibs West Coast, East Coast Siblings. Today, we've got episode three of Warrior Nun. Man, this show really exploded onto the scene dude, at this point. Dude, I was on the fence about the show until this episode. After this episode, I'm like, yes, I love it. Let's go. I agree. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the three biggest takeaways, as always. Uh, but first, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss a single episode as we cover your favorite movies and TV shows. Let's get into it. I'm still moving into my apartment, yeah. so ignore me as I work on this. So, big takeaway number one, guys, we have the kind of superhero origin of this episode where we're introduced to um, the first Halo Bearer and kind of how uh, Ava ended up getting her powers yeah. and the story um, of... Kind of where the Halo comes from. Exactly, yeah. and, it, and its origin in that capacity. Um, I like how the Halo has different powers and different effects for different, for different bearers. Yeah. I also think it's really interesting how they're saying that um, the Halo enhances powers that you already have. My question is, how do you tell the difference between a Halo Bearer and a regular human until the Halo Bearer gets the Halo? Well, there's only one Halo Bearer. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, but how do you tell the difference? Like, if you don't have the Halo, right? Like with, uh, what's her name? Triss? Whoever's the girl in the group who's supposed to get the Halo next, how do they know she was a Halo Bearer? Oh, well, they were probably chosen. Through like, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah. if they're chosen, do they have some sort of genetic difference that makes oh, them Oh, that's powerful? a good point. Yeah, if there's that's some kind of wondering. genetic marker. But that is an interesting point as we look at possibly if these forces of darkness knew that Ava would be the next um, Halo Bearer and therefore maybe tried to sabotage her. We'll get into that with big takeaway number three. But getting into big ta takeaway number two. So biggest takeaway number two is that Ava's good old friends, the ones who she was kind of slumming it with, the con artists, yep. um, uh, Arctech has approached them mm -hmm. and basically is like, listen, you tell us when you find her, yep. we'll pay you. Yeah. And so, you know, they're broke and they're kind of conflicted and right. they're like, well, you know, that basic, you know, being blackmailed obligation. Yeah, of. and right now they don't have too many ties to Ava. The guy that, that likes her, um, he's the only one who was kind of sticking up for her. But as far as the group, I mean, they've known her for a couple days and they need the money. Yeah. So um, I think this will definitely be something uh, that is a challenge as we get into big takeaway number three, which is the fact that she leaves at the end of this episode saying mm -hmm. on a piece of paper, I want to live and leaving her vest behind, which sets her up probably to go right back to those friends and those friends will be faced with the decision about telling Arc Tech mm -hmm. her whereabouts. Yeah, not gonna lie guys. I There are so many things that I liked about this episode and that I'm gonna like about this series. One, I felt like, I feel like this must have been a book because I feel like I've read these different tropes before, Probably like is. in the uh, Shatter Me series. Like, I really, really am digging this um, story. Are you Are you digging it? Do you like it? I think. I mean, just to clarify for the group. Also, I actually liked Ava in this episode. I've not liked her that much, but she seemed pretty chill. Yeah, she's growing on us for sure. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode, episode three of Warrior Nun on Netflix. Let us know what you think down in the comments below of all the takeaways and more. Uh, we'd love to chat it up with you guys as always. Be sure to like that video if you like the video. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single episode as we cover your favorite movies and TV shows. Always taking suggestions, by the way, so let us know in the comments if there's a show you want to see us cover. Also, don't forget to tune in to Fun Employment 2020. Our first episode will be up on Friday, July Ooh. 10th, so check it out, check it out. Exciting. Out. You want to subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, check out our sister channel the Lotta Quinte Ledger so you don't miss more exciting content that we have and have coming um, on that channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Peace!